It is estimated that 30 to 40% of real estate agents will go out of business in the next recession. What's up everybody, Steve with Steve Invest. So why, why are they going out of business when a market tanks, when a real estate market hits a recession? Why? Because they don't know how to pivot. Look, on this channel for real estate agents, I talk about four main things to pivot into when the real estate market starts to turn. Number one, REOs, listing foreclosure properties. Number two, short sales, listing short sales and helping people avoid foreclosure. Number three, BPOs, broker price opinions, get that cash flow coming in. And number four, property management, leasing properties for other people. I'll put links below for you guys for all four of these target markets so you guys can further educate yourselves on the different types of niche markets that you guys can can go after. So what is my team doing right now in Southwest Florida? We're gearing up for two things, property management and short sales. So why property management? Let me paint the picture for you. If somebody bought a piece of real estate a year or two years ago and they bought a property for $250,000, and the current market just stays flat, but they have to sell their property and their property is worth 250,000, you still have closing costs associated with that. So they either have to come to the table with a check to basically get rid of that property, maybe do a short sale on it, or another good alternative that a lot of people do is they end up leasing their properties. I get it, a lot of people become instant landlords. They were not intending on being landlords, but this is where you guys come in. This is where you come in to save the day, help them generate revenue to offset their costs and also make residual income for you and your team. And let's not talk about the other real estate investors that are out there in your market. They want better service. They want better quality people. They want people that are going to look after their properties as if it is their own. And there's a lot of crap real estate agents out there that are doing really bad jobs. And this is where you guys can come in with superior service to take over and start helping these other investors out. And be sure you guys stay to the end of this video because I'm going to talk about how to get several properties off of one single individual investor. Okay, when the last downturn in 2008, I had to sit down with my sister and we really had to strategize of what we were gonna do to survive this real estate recession. We were already leasing a handful of properties out for investors and we had to figure out, okay, how can we expand off of this? At the time, we only had about 15 properties under management and we grew that to several hundreds of thousands of dollars of income to our bottom line every single year. Think about it, if you charge a 10% management fee for leasing properties and your average lease is $1,500, that's $150 per property that you're leasing. If you take that and multiply it by just 20 properties, only 20 properties, that would be $3,000 of gross income to your bottom line. That's $36,000 a year. Property management also leads to other sales. Think about it. For one thing, you have the property that they probably wanted to sell, so maybe when the market does rebound, you could sell that property eventually to get it out of management and get it off the books for that owner. You have investors that want to buy other investment properties, so you gain their trust by doing good, good services, and they will buy more properties, they will buy more investments from you, and then you manage those properties to further increase your residual income from property management. And you also generate real estate sales from the tenants that are placed in your properties. These tenants are eventually going to buy and if they can't, you could be that source, you could be that mentor that's going to help these people build their credit and, and start being more financially responsible to save for a down payment. And there's another profit center associated with property management and it's maintenance. Think about it, if you teamed up with somebody that's well rounded, knows a lot about maintenance and, and knows a lot about construction in general general you could team up and essentially create a maintenance division and look this doesn't even need to be you guys doing the work you can hire a good handyman a good maintenance guy that you guys just oversee you do have to put forth the work of looking at the problems beforehand diagnosing them meeting with the handyman and then figuring out a negotiated price and then overseeing that project and then also looking at the finalized project and making sure that it was done in its entirety and everything is fine. And think about it, you actually are saving landlords more money by doing this maintenance division, so as long as you guys are competitively priced, because if you guys do keep certain handymen busy, they're gonna give you already a negotiated price, as opposed to some random landlord 
at seeking their services, they're gonna charge them more money than what they're gonna charge you. So your maintenance fee of 10% is actually probably gonna reduce their costs for any kind of improvements or repairs and maintenance. And another thing to think about, you could eventually sell the portfolio. That's right, there are many property management companies that are looking to expand. So for example, let's say you had 100 properties under management that netted you guys $250,000 a year. Say in our current market, the value of that is three times net. You could cash out of the situation three times, 250,000 would be $750,000 paycheck. All right, so how can we get in front of these people? A very effective way is cold calling. You could utilize Red X. I'll put a link down for you guys below. It's an affiliate link. And basically they can give you the geo areas of specific areas and you can call these people. You can filter out the absentee owners, call them to see if they had interest in leasing their properties. Number two, you can cold call for rent by owners. Uh, many of them have yard signs or they're on Craigslist and you can just basically call them and present your services to them. Number three is data mining. You can basically seek out a wholesale printing company in your local market or even nationally and tell them what you're trying to accomplish. So for example, with these data mining companies, you can really narrow it down to a specific target market. And here's what I mean. So for example, the last list that we purchased, it was um, any owners or entities like certain LLCs owned a minimum of three properties in that area, in that zip code. So three properties or more, so it's three single family homes, three condos, and they're over a certain assessed value. We wanted a certain assessed value because we wanted to make sure that the rent rates were higher and it kind of weeded out and anything that was kind of the, the lower end of things because you know, you're know you doing the same work, if not more, if you're focusing on higher or lower uh, rent rates. So we wanted a certain assessed value and um, in doing so, you're dealing most likely with a target market of investors because they own three units or more. Another target market is to actually go after small to medium size apartment complexes or five units or four units or even duplexes. Um, one mailing campaign that we did, we actually got a 40 unit apartment complex that we managed for several years. It was a, a really good situation for us and it worked out really well. And we not only generated residual income from this apartment complex with our management, but also a lot of the tenants ended up buying properties as well when they were moving out. If you guys got any value out of this, I appreciate a big thumbs up on this. And if you do like this kind of content regarding real estate, real estate investing, passive income, financial freedom, personal finance, then you might want to consider subscribing. And I do appreciate the support.